All right, guys, we're on to experiment number seven. Experiment number seven, we're, we're turning pages. We're going to be starting parallel circuits. So a series circuit was a circuit that had all of the loads and components on one continuous path. A parallel circuit is the type of circuit where each component has its own branch from the power source. So here it's telling us that we are going to be using resistance R1 and R2. R1, R2, um, and we're going to be building a parallel circuit. So um, uh, the first thing it's asking us to document here is the value of R1 and the value of R2. So again, when we're measuring the value of a resistor, that means we're measuring ohms. So R1 and R2, I believe, have equal resistances. You might be starting to memorize the values of these components. So R1 is 9.8 ohms r2 10 ohms sometimes the resistors are exactly the same but when you measure them in real life there's a small difference um, usually they're uh, accurate within two to three um, percent so these are about 10 ohm resistors um, so we've measured the value of r1 and r2 uh, I would say they're both at 10 ohms. With your cable, wire the circuit on the board. So let me show you how to wire a parallel circuit. We're going to use uh, the same power source, but each uh, resistance or each load will have its own path. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to piggyback a new branch onto this power source to R2. So R1 and R2 have their own branch feeding them power. And then we're going to do the same thing. They will have their own ground as well. Their own branch for ground as well. Okay, so that's how we wire a parallel circuit. Um, it's kind of like two parallel lines going together. So what I need to do is I'm going to disconnect the power side because we need to measure the total resistance of the circuit. So to measure the total resistance of the circuit, we would need to measure from one end of the circuit to the other using our multimeter. So what we can do here is, we could probably just pop this guy in like so. You gotta make sure you have a good contact because sometimes these will not read properly if they're not touching. Um, so here, you'll see when I measure the total resistance, you don't want the test probe to touch your finger because that could give you a false measurement, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm holding onto the plastic. That means my total resistance for this circuit is five ohms. The interesting thing about a parallel circuit is the total resistance will always be less than um, the smallest resistor in the circuit. So these are two 10 ohm resistors wired in parallel, gives us a total resistance of five ohms for this circuit, okay? So our resistance total for experiment number seven is five ohms, okay? We're gonna go ahead and connect, reconnect these to the ground and the power. And um, we're going to switch the board on, the board is already on. One of the challenges with resistors is you can't see anything happening, but they are generating heat. So if you leave it long enough, you might feel the board get warm. Um, so using the multimeter, we're gonna measure the voltage of terminal R1 and R2. Um, so we're gonna, essentially that's voltage drop, okay? So we're gonna rotate this to volts, and we're gonna measure R1 voltage nine point six volts for R1 nine point six volts for R2 okay so now that we know the re, uh, the resistance values of 10 ohms we know the voltage values of nine point six volts uh, step number eight and nine are asking us to calculate the current 
for um, R1 and calculate the current for R2. And when you add those together, you're gonna to get the current total for the circuit. Um, so I'll leave that to you guys to go ahead and do the math. Um, this is how we wire up experiment number seven.